Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you're all having a great start to the holiday season. I wanted to share a haul that actually started pretty small with two pops, and by the end of the day, it started spiraling into about 10. I wasn't planning on getting all these pops, but they're all pops I wanted, but kind of had given up on finding them. And I'm going to start with the Batman repaints because I really like them. I like the original molds, and I like how creative they get with them. This is the guy that was a catalyst for this pop haul that got out of control, and that is the Penguin and Popster. I actually pre-ordered this guy from GameStop, and I got the call that he was in. That's what got me started hunting that day. And he looks pretty cool. This is a repaint, but it does look like they added a small groove around the monocle to make it look more like a monocle. So it's a repaint of the original Batman mold, but it does look like they added a small little adjustment there. Which is a nice touch because I'm pretty sure they could have just painted that white on the outline there. And it would have made much of a difference, but that's a nice little attention to detail. And the rest of the body looks good. This is one of the best in Popsters, I think. Or one of my favorite, anyway. And also, when I went to go pick these up, they had a couple of them there. And this was the best one, like with the best box and best paint job. But the other guys had pretty good paint jobs, too. But they had a little ding here or there on the box, so I picked this one. So I think if you're going to order this guy online, you might be pretty safe with uh, the paint jobs. Because some of the other imposters I advise not to buy online, like especially the Poison Ivy. Because when I first saw them, 9 out of 10 of them were pretty much unbuyable. And even that uh, the one that was like decent still was kind of sloppy, so... I did not advise to buy that online, but I think you'll be safe with the Penguin. I do like on these Batman repaints how they do take the time to add a little bit of the character in the boxes as well, instead of just making them all generic. I pretty much have all of these now, except for I didn't buy the Batman Harley because I found that kind of redundant with the Batgirl and the Batman. So just need the Killer Croc now. So yeah, pretty happy with this one. And while I was already at the mall, I had to stop by Hot Topic, of course, and they had this Thomas Wayne um, as Batman. I don't know much about the Flashpoint storyline, and I'm kind of interested to read it now. So I wasn't really going to buy this one at first, but then when I saw it in person, I thought his red eyes looked really cool. And the fact that it's Thomas Wayne was appealing to me. And it's an original Batman mold, which I like adding to my collection. So picked up this Thomas Wayne. And this was the Saturday after Black Friday, so Hot Topic still had some deals going on. So I couldn't just get the one. So I got this Holly Go Lightly from Breakfast at Tiffany's. I was an Aubrey Hepburn fan when I was younger in college. I had a poster of her up. So I couldn't pass up the chance to get a Breakfast at Tiffany's pop. And it came out really nice. The only thing I did notice on several of them was that the hairlines were really sloppy. They had kind of the same problem that the Amy Winehouse pops had. Everything was done well, except for the hairline. You can see here a little bleed over. And this was the best one. A lot of them had just a ton of bleed over to the ear, which made them almost unbuyable. And just super sloppy all the way around. Even though the paint on the body is really nice, like her necklace is perfect. The cigarette's perfect. Everything else looks really good, except for that hairline. And it was really bizarre, because that was the same thing with the Amy Winehouse one. I'm not sure what's up with that. I do like these lighter brown lines they put into the hair. Looks really dynamic. The box art is nice too. I like that they picked this nice bright pink color here. And I like when they put um, a different kind of image on the back instead of other pops. I like that. Even though maybe a little paragraph about the movie would have been nice or even about Aubrey Hepburn. But yeah, this is a cool one. And the pop hunt isn't complete unless you stop by Target. At least one Target throughout the day. And I went in there fully expecting to be let down. Like, I was actually looking for, like, maybe DVDs or something like that on sale. But, um, they actually had some of these new Batmans, which, you know, just totally caught me off guard. I was actually really excited when I saw them because I had a whole bunch of them. But then I started taking a closer look. And holy cow, were these awful. Like, they had about, I want to say, 9 to 10 of these Golden Midas Batmans. And this is the only one. That had a decent paint job and if you look at it close it's still not perfect like that glove isn't painted very well but 
the flaws on this one are minimal, but all the other ones were like unbuyable. And I had a friend that wanted these too. And I asked him if you, you know, I'm like, look, dude, the boxes are all dented. They're all messed up. Like every single one of them, except for the one I'm going to get for myself, of course. And luckily that one has a decent paint job, but all the other ones are bad. Like I took some video of it, but it might be hard to tell on those, but a lot of them, like there'll be like gold over the bad symbol. And, and I'm not just talking about paint flaws, like a little bit of overlap. I'm talking about the way this is painted gold, right? It looks like they got a, just a brush and dipped it in just some other, like, different kind of gold that wasn't as shiny and just brushed over the face. Like, there was one of them that had, that had a brush mark, like, right over that and like that. It was really weird. And a lot of them had that. And a lot of them just had sloppiness all over. And you'd think that they'd be able to do a better job because this is basically just three colors. It's just gold, black, white, flesh color. So four colors. But for somehow they figured out a way to get... A pretty much all gold body to look really sloppy really weird um but luckily i found this one and he does look really super super cool and see this is where i wish they would uh because these are all based on you know the comic books and i know they got to advertise these but a lot of these aren't even available so i i see that to be kind of pointless like i mean why are they advertising hawkman or you know Martian Manhunter or the Penguin, like you can't get those at a store. But anyway, this is where I wish they would let, like taken this whole section here to explain a little bit about the Golden Midas Batman from the comic books. I know we can look it up, but that would have been cool to put that in here or even a picture of the Golden Midas Batman from the actual comic books. Um, but that's a small thing; it's just part of the box. But I think that would have been nice. But yeah, totally surprised I found this one and really happy I did because this is the one I wanted the most from this new wave of repaints. And the negative Batmans weren't as bad. Like, luckily, the boxes were fine. And the paint jobs weren't as bad, even though they're not great either. Like, if you look at this one really close, there are some flaws in there. But nothing to make this one unbuyable. They did have, like, three or four of the seven that they had that were pretty good. But still, a lot of them did have bad paint jobs. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are excited once... You know, the good ones are taken. They're going to see like four of these negative Batmans, four of these golden uh, Batmans up there. And they'll be like, holy crap, they're there. And then they're going to take a look at them and be super disappointed because, yeah, the quality control on these weren't good. And I think these are some of the coolest uh, repaints to come out. But yeah, got the negative Batman. I actually did find a little bit about this one online. I guess it was like a, a, su like a, a super villain that had, that had a, like a magic camera or something that took a picture of Batman. Turned him into, like, negative uh, colors. That's why his, like, you know, panties are white and his face is white. And the picture actually shows, like, lights, like a car lights flashing on him. And it does, they do mimic that kind of, like, n the way they used to draw that in comic books before. Hard for me to explain. I'm not very good at explaining things. But, yeah. Did like this one. I'm glad I found it. Because he does look uh, pretty unique in the collection. North Pole Camel Batman, probably the plainest one, but still kind of cool because he is all white. His bat logo does look like it's silver on the box, and it would have looked cool if they would have done that silver. Maybe his gloves and boots too. Um, even though that might not be true to the character, it would have looked cool. Don't know much about this guy except for probably this comic book version of Batman fought some guy in the snow. Maybe you've gone into a fight with Santa Claus, who knows. Um, that's why I think it would be cool if they actually put that in the back. Um, but I guess we all got the internet and we can look it up. But yeah, I wanted to pick this guy up too. Unfortunately, they didn't have the the green radium Batman. I really wanted that one. It looks really cool. But what was weird was they had a whole bunch of negative Batman. They had a whole bunch of gold and it had a whole bunch of North Pole. But no radium. It was really weird. It's like you'd think people would come in and just buy the set, you know? Like, like, did somebody just come in and buy all the green ones? Or did, you know, people just come in and just buy the green one? Kind of weird. Or maybe they just didn't get them. Um, whatever it was, it was kind of strange. But glad I got these three. Going to be on the lookout for that green one. Um, if not, I might have to order it from eBay or something. Or maybe uh, somebody out there has, uh, has an extra one they want to trade for. Who knows?
All right. And while I was at Target, I also picked up Maz Kanata. I had seen her before, but, you know, her boxes weren't perfect. Or for some reason, I just didn't get her. But this time, they had a pretty perfect box. And I think they were a couple bucks less because it was a Saturday after Black Friday. So I decided to finally get her. And I didn't have the common. So it was kind of a no-brainer to just pick up Maz Kanata. Because I do think it's cool that she's holding the lightsaber. And I also picked up Luke Skywalker in his, like, jumpsuit and blue lightsaber he uses in the second movie where he's on Bespin. This is basically the scene in Empire Strikes Back before he gets his hand cut off. And he finds out that Vader is his father. No new pops on the back here. But yeah. Just a classic Luke from uh, the classic series. And also, while I was at GameStop, I picked up this Doofus Rick, which kind of surprised me because I did go in on Black Friday to pick up the, the GameStop boxes, and they didn't have any of these, so I either figured I missed out on them or what, but they had about six of them, and they were all in pretty good shape with pretty decent paint jobs. Um, this is one of my new favorite shows. I really hope they make the rest of the family and some of the weird aliens and stuff. That would be really cool. Um, so hopefully these sell well. But yeah, I had to pick up this Doofus Rick. And also picked up Evil Morty. <laughs> this episode was hilarious. I mean, at the end, <laughs> when you find out Evil Morty's uh, true intentions, that was like such a creepy-ass moment. I don't remember being so creeped out by a cartoon in a long time. But yeah, definitely had to pick this guy up. And I believe they did have some kind of deal where um, you bought one, you got one half off. So these were actually kind of cheap for uh, exclusives. But yeah, hopefully they make the rest of the family. I also have the one with the portal gun, but I don't have the regular Rick. Um, these look too similar to, to get them both. But yeah, glad I was able to pick these two up, even though I wasn't looking for them either. Basically, I wasn't looking for any of these pops except for the penguin, just because I knew they had it. So ended up with a lot of cool stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty happy because I didn't spend too much money for, let me see, 10 pops basically. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching and take it easy.